Hey guys, today I have a Whirlpool washer and Kenmore electric dryer and I've got them hooked up running here. See this one's running. Whole load of towels there getting started agitating. Moving those clothes around nice and good. Now, typically this little piece here goes in right there, locks the lid so you can't open it. I just went and bought an extra one of these on Amazon so I can stick it in here and it thinks the lid's down and locks it. So this can't pull out right here, it's locked in place. But that way I can kind of show you what's going on. So I'll be able to show you that it's spinning nice and fast, drains the water out like it's supposed to. Tons of different options on here. You've got soil level, which kind of tells the machine how long it's gonna agitate and wash for. Wash temp, so you get to select the temperature you want your wash at. All these different options here for the various different uh, items you might be washing. You got some rinse options. I went one rinse with softener, which means it's gonna fill all the way up with water on the rinse cycle. And that's how you would add the softener right in the middle there. You put your fabric softener right in there. However, I don't personally use fabric softener. I just throw an extra dryer sheet in. Kind of keeps the machines a little less. The fabric softener kind of gums them up, so I don't use it. Uh, deep water wash is what we're using. You could use the auto sensing. Either way, you wanna use a, a good HE soap on that. We come over here to the dryer. We've got just kind of your standard uh, electric dryer. You've got time dry, air only, and then an auto dry. Wrinkle guard gives you some extra time to get back to those clothes before the wrinkles set in. And then you've got your control here for your heat. And then you can turn the cycle on and off at the end of the cycle. And of course you push that there to uh, get it to go. So. I don't have a hose hooked up on the back of here so you can hear that blower motor pretty loud. But uh, otherwise, when you get it in your laundry room and put that vent hose on the back, it muffles the blower motor sound. But there you go. See in here, nice and bright, clean. Everything's been cleaned inside and out, top to bottom. And I'll show you here in a minute, once we move the clothes over, that the dryer's heating like it's supposed to and it's good to go. So I'm gonna let this kind of move through its wash cycle, show you that it drains the water out, then it has a nice, fast, smooth, final spin cycle. And all right, we're coming out of the wash cycle, draining that water out nice and fast. All right, guys, we're coming into the final spin cycle and just wanna reiterate that uh, it would be locked for you at home, but since I've got that additional lid lock striker here, we can see the actual spin cycle itself. Nice smooth operation, sounds great. As you can see, the machine's nice and balanced. Of course, you want to make sure the legs get leveled once you get it in place. Use your level front to back, side to side. It's the most important thing with these washers that spin super fast like this. Make sure you get a nice balanced load. So I'm gonna let that finish up. We'll move the clothes over to the dryer and then I will show you that uh, that sounds great, loaded down and heating appropriately. Okay, we're done here in the washer that's cleaned out. I removed my little extra striker, so clothes nice and flat. We come over here to the electric dryer. I've got it running on that time dry with the heat on high and then uh, cycles off and that stuff didn't really matter. Oh, here you have your lint trap. You want to make sure that that gets changed out before each and every load so you got good airflow. And I'm going to show you that it is heating. A little temperature gun here, about 72 degrees on top of the dryer. And it's about 60, about 60 on the concrete floor. So we'll go ahead and open this up. See, everything's tumbling. Now the heat comes in right here. You see it's nice and hot coming out of that little grate right there. The air comes in, circulates with the clothes, and uh, out right there where the lint trap can catch, and uh, out the back of your dryer. So that's why I said it's important to make sure you have good airflow. Close that back up. Get that here. And these are good to go. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Now you know everything on them works perfect. I always do a video for everything I list and sell. That way everybody's on the same page. If you spend your money on something, you know, you want to know when you get it home and plug it in that you're good to go. That's the whole purpose of these videos. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.